What's up, friends? Welcome to the Scrap Trawlers channel, where we do EDH on a budget. We're coming at you today with something very special. It's the first video in a new series that we're calling Discount Deathmatch. In this series, the four Scrap Trawlers are going to be battling budget decks to the death. This series is fully edited and only for YouTube. If you like what you see, go ahead and give us the thumbs up, the like, the subscribe, the bell thing. If you don't like what you see, well then maybe it's time to think about why nothing is ever good enough for you, Dad. And if you really, really like it, you want to support us, go check us out at patreon.com slash Several levels of support starting as low as $1 a month. And you get great benefits like playing games with us, helping us brew our decks, and access to a special patrons-only Discord channel. We greatly appreciate all of our patrons and would gladly take a bullet for them. Except for War Machine. Screw that guy. Now, on to the game. Hello friends, uh, welcome to another discount death match with the Scrap Chawlers. Um, hopefully you have smashed and destroyed the like button and the uh, subscribe button and all its descendants. Uh, I'm Lenny and I'm here and I'm going to be playing Zangief, the Red Cyclone, because uh, we are rocking some Street Fighter decks today. And um, yeah, this is just kind of trade binder soup with some stuff that I feel would be good with Zangief. Uh, it comes out to about $45, so uh, we'll see how it goes. Hey friends, I'm Andy and tonight I'm playing Ken. Uh, the shiny car. <laughs> I'm playing Ken Burning Brawler. Uh, he's got he's a four two with prowess. So whenever I cast a non creature spell, he gets plus one plus one until end of turn. Uh, I can pay a red or a white to give him first strike, and then whenever he deals combat damage, it doesn't have to be a player. It can be to anything. Uh, I get to cast a sorcery spell from my hand for free if its mana value is less than the amount of damage done. So I'm basically. Just trying to do exactly what the card <laughs> says. Uh, attacking with Ken and then casting free spells that hurt you more than me. <laughs> well, hello, everybody. I am Bert. Uh, today I am playing Guile, Sonic Soldier. Uh, so Guile messes with charge counters, which is really cool because he has the charge techniques in the Street Fighter games. Um, so hopefully I get to put a bunch of charge counters on Guile. And Sonic Boom and Flash Kick, everybody. All right, and I'm Nick, and I've never played a Street Fighter game, so I don't know what any of these characters are except Ken and Ryu, I suppose. Uh, so we're playing E Honda, also the shiny. Uh, so what we're doing is uh, toughness matters, tokens, and card draw in mono white. Uh, so the goal is to get 100 tokens and then give all of them plus 0 plus X, where X is probably 7 because I'm going to max out my hand size. And we're just going to kill you. All right. And then I guess I'll start and I'll draw a card and realize I didn't say what Zangief does. But you know what? I will tell you all when I cast. Uh, I will play Savage Lands, tapped, and pass the turn. Right. <laughs> a little. Rustvale Bridge and pass to Burke. Okay. Just play this island and pass turn. All right. We will draw. Play a planes and we'll pass. I'll draw and apologize for wrecking the turn order and play Command Tower. And uh, I will pass. Okay. Untap. Draw. Let's do a Planes and an Arcane Signet. Off to an okay start. Pass the turn. Mm -hmm. All right. Draw. Let's play a Mountain. Tap two and play an Azorius Signet. And then I'll pass turn. All right, I will draw. Put this planes off the top, not to be outdone for all these turn twos. We're gonna play this Wall of Omens and draw a card, and we'll pass. All right, well I'll draw a card, and I will play a forest and black, and two mana that doesn't matter. I'm gonna play a Shakedown Heavy. Uh, this is a 3-mana 6-4 menace, and when our shakedown heavy attacks, defending player may have me draw a card, and if they do, I untap the shakedown heavy and remove it from combat, and I will pass the turn. That is a heck of a uh, turn 3 creature there. So... <laughs> Alright, 
Flames and a Ken. Burning baller. Brawler. Burning baller. <laughs> Dollar. 20 inch blades on the Impala. There you go. Uh, go ahead, Bert. All right. Untap. Draw. Let's play a plane. Then yeah, let's let's do some commander stuff too. I'm gonna play Guile, Sonic Warrior. Or Soldier. Definitely Soldier. <laughs> <laughs> um when he comes in I will put a charge counter on him. He also can add or remove when he attacks to Sonic Boom, which deals four to any target, or Flash Kick, which gives him lifelink and indestructible. And I will pass the turn. All right, we will untap, upkeep, and draw. Playing the planes off the top are so good. Three mana for a letter of acceptance. Uh, taps for a any color, and I can pay two and tap it and sack it to draw a card. And we will tap that for one white for a slag worm armor. Gives an equipped creature plus zero plus six. Holy moly. What's the equip cost on that? Three. Hmm. And I will pass turn. All right, I'll untap. Let's see. Play a swamp as my land for turn, and then let's go to combat. Uh, we're gonna visit Nick. Get him. Um, I got a six four coming at you. Draw some cards. Um, how much life gain I have in my mono white deck? That's actually a question I don't think I have the answer to. I'm gonna take it to save time, but I'm gonna look at that while I'm getting beat in the face. All right. And then second main phase, um, yes, let's do double green and two, and I'm going to play Sarath, the Viper's Fang. Other tapped creatures I control have Death Touch, and other untapped creatures I control have Hexproof, and I can pay one and tap it to untap a creature or land. Pass the turn. That's a good one. A demo draw. Let's do... Land no life turn. game this deck. Is a Slayer's Stronghold. Inspired Tinkering. Uh, exile the top three cards of your library until the end of your next turn. You may play those cards. Also, create three treasure tokens. Is that all good? Mm -hmm. Yep. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Exile top three. We got a sad robot. We got excavation technique. And electrostatic field. And then we've got three treasure tokens to make. We've got a Bert. Hey. Three treasures. All right. And a prowess trigger on Ken. He's got plus one, plus one. I'm going to use up two treasures right away. I'll leave Bert here because I just love him so much. I'll cast the electrostatic field. Uh, zero four with defender. Whenever I cast an instant or sorcery spell, it deals one damage to each opponent. I will go to combat. Yeah, I'll send uh, Ken over at Lenny as a five three. I will readily accept that and uh, <laughs> take five. Okay, excellent damage. That'll trigger Ken. Which says, when he deals combat damage, I may cast the sorcerers over my hand with mana value less than or equal to the damage, and which is five. Um, so I'm going to cast, let's do ready to rumble. Um, it's going to deal five damage to target shakedown heavy. Oh, poor shakedown heavy. Electrostatic field triggers, and you'll all take one damage. Mm-hmm. Shakedown heavy, never heard of a non Nick anybody. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I think that'll be it for me. I will pass the turn. Okay. Tap, draw, play a mountain, a Sahili Sublime Artificer. Ooh. Whenever I cast in a creature spell, I will make a servo. Mm hmm. And for one mana, let's put an aqueous form on Guile, Sonic War Soldier. Oh Ooh. no. Ooh. Yikes. It yeah. Is an unblockable commander. 
So you have to let us know when Guile's theme actually starts playing. Because <laughs> <laughs> okay. it is the best theme in Street Fighter. It, it is. is really good. Yeah. Um, There's like uh, the whole meme of Guile's theme goes with everything. Everything. <laughs> everything. <laughs> I will uh, move to combat. I will swing Guile at Andy. <gasps> How dare. And I will scroll on. I'll put that on bottom. All right, and then. when I attack, I will put another charge counter on Guile instead of removing it to do something. Okay. And so it's just a 4-4 four, four unblockable? Yep, just a 4-4 four, four unblockable. All right. I have no blocks because I can't, as All we've right. already you know, <laughs> determined. I <Also laughs> have a servo. Uh, I'll pass turn after that. All right. We will untap, upkeep, and draw. Um, okay, so next turn we can play that. Play of planes, we will pay three for a rumor gatherer. Ooh. So it's a uh, two one. That does not show up well on spell table. Ugh. Anyway. Uh, so it's got alliance. Whenever another creature enters the battlefield under my control, I scry one. If it's the second time this ability has resolved, I'll draw a card instead. And right. can't equip the slagworm armor, so we will just pass the turn. All right, I'll untap. And I think it's time I cast my commander because I didn't. We're gonna play Temple of the False God, and since oh, I didn't explain yes. what my command commander does i will explain it now we will cast zangief the red cyclone mm -hmm. he is a seven four uh he must be blocked each turn or sorry must be blocked if able and as long as it's my turn he's indestructible and whenever he deals damage to a creature if that creature was dealt excess damage this turn that creature's controller sacrifices a non-creature non-land permanent so oh, with that, gross. yeah, so gross. Uh, <laughs> with that, I will pass the turn. And he's got hexproof because of Sarah. Beautiful. And we love. Yeah, that. and that, it's it's all half as beautiful as that gorgeous beard that he has. <laughs> <laughs> uh, on tap, upkeep, draw. Hey, look! Just because I am a bad guy does not mean that I am bad guy <laughs> <laughs> um and then i will cast excavation technique um i will take advantage of the demonstrate ability and give nick a copy electrostatic oh, really? field triggers you're all going to take one prowess triggers can go up plus one plus one uh, yep, yeah, with my copies, I will attempt to destroy Sarath and um, what the heck is the name of that enchantment, Bert? Uh, Aqueous Form. Aqueous Form, yes, that. All right, okay. and mine will target Sahili. All right, okay. and then Lenny, you get two treasures. Bert, you get four get treasures. Four. Gotta get drop my Bird the Paradise treasure token. Yes. Go to combat. Uh, Ken is going to go at Bert. Okay. I will... Uh, it's a 5-3. Five, 5-3. Three. Five, three. Yeah, I'll block with the uh, 1-1 one, one servo. Okay. Uh, on damage, he'll trigger. I may cast a sorcery. Be a nice guy here. I'm going to cast Secret Rendezvous and uh, give Lenny three cards. Thank you. And everybody takes one damage from Electrostatic Field. I will draw three cards as well. One, and a two, and a three. Sweet. All right. Uh, second main, land for turn as a planes. I will go to my end step. Uh, sad robot is going to be very sad and go away forever. Go to my turn. Tap. Draw Ooh. the four treasures and it. Let's do a symbol of the legion. 
Nice. Tokens. Yeah, I'm gonna try to proliferate some stuff, so I figured it'll be a good, good, uh, good addition. So, where's Zangief going, Eleni? Yeah, like, I haven't really decided. Certainly like, not the player with the highest life total. I mean, I mean, like, I don't I don't have trample, so, like, it's maybe more like the person with the most threatening non-creature permanent. That's fair. You don't have trample. That's a good point. Because I can sonic boom something. I can remove a counter when I attack and then deal four to any target. So I, I, don't, I don't know if that's Zangief right now, though. Um, Electrostatic field. It has dealt a bunch of damage here. Yeah, it's it? just a wall. It's 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 bolted it's you at least once. It's I a mean, pretty good like, wall. My just... commander's also a legitimate threat too, so that's like fair. <laughs> yeah. Um I do only have one creature to, is what I'm scared about right now. Yeah. But honestly, like also like if there's any card that like is a more accurate rep there is no other magic card that's a more accurate representation of mine and my husband's relationship <laughs> <laughs> how big was wall of omens uh Nick? it is a zero four ready for the uh the picking uh i'm gonna move the combat i will swing guile sonic soldier at nick for four and i will remove a charge counter and I will Sonic Boom, um, and I think I will hit Electrostatic Field. Ooh. Yeah. Nice. I will block with the uh, Wall of Omens. Okay. Uh, you blew up two walls. How do you I feel? Did it. Feel like a big man? <laughs> Knocking down walls. Knocking down walls. <laughs> I'll pass turn. Start calling you Kyle. All right. <laughs> Untap, upkeep, and draw. Play a plans. I'm going to make myself a big old friendly target. Uh, so we got three, five, six. Everyone's favorite. Man of Rock. Coveted Jewel. Ooh. Ooh. Yes. So when it enters the battlefield, I will draw three cards. Uh, it taps to add three of any one color. And whenever I am dealt damage, combat damage by one or more creatures. Oh, no, that's not what it says. Whenever I'm attacked with one or more creatures and opponent controls, and at least one of them isn't blocked, you gain control of the Coveted Jewel, and you untap it. Mm -hmm. And you draw three cards. Mm. So, I'm going to draw three cards right now. Yeah, um, we didn't draw what I wanted, so we're going to tap this for three. We're going to equip the Slagworm Armor to Rumor Gatherer, making it a 2-7. Nice. Just big enough to die by Zangief. <laughs> And Everything we'll guys to Zangief. Uh, Zangief is uh, quite deadly, yep. Yeah, also appreciate being able to do this, because, like, I have a friend that is, uh, I'll play a Swamp, that's a professional wrestler, and he's in my, like, really super close play group, and so he wants to build Zangief, because wrestler, and I'm like, yeah, but, like, I also want to build Zangief, because, like, like, muscly dude with a beard. <laughs> the important reason. Yeah. Yeah. Bert, do you have any creatures available? I don't. Not yet. I'm just uh, open. You're just open. Fine. Yeah, coming at you with Zangief. Okay. Oh, jeez. Okay. So, yeah, so I take seven. And then that's seven commander. Okay, yeah, if all my creatures are tapped, I don't have to block and I don't have to sack something. Facts. Uh, I'm gonna cast um, Magus of the Abyss. Oh! <laughs> so at the beginning of each player's upkeep, destroy target non-artifact creature that player controls of their choice. It can't Come be regenerated. <laughs> hey, oh, I mean that's awful. It is really awful. Um, we all have but... one creature. I yeah. I'm sorry. This uh, is, are you? Because is... you just played it like you... <laughs> yeah. I don't think you're sorry. No, I'm not sorry, because I have a creature that's indestructible on my turn, 
that has seven power, and I absolutely represent a ending game state. So, uh, yeah, love yeah, you, you do. friends. Yep. Oh and then boy. I'm gonna cast Death Reap Ritual. Uh, so at the beginning of each end step, uh, if a creature died this turn, I may draw a card. I love this combo. <laughs> I will pass the turn. Uh, nothing died. Uh... Except Andy's spirit. <laughs> my hopes and dreams. Yeah. All right, Ken dies. In my upkeep. Didn't even put up a fight. Draw a card. This this is the combo breaker that goes into like the level <laughs> three super. <laughs> uh, After a temple. guard cancel. Temple of Triumph. I'll scry one. Um, I guess I'll do my friends a favor and we will rip apart Magus of the Abyss. There. Uh, we'll do a Mana Geyser. You what, mate? Mana Geyser. Oh. Yeah. Only got one. One plus five. five is six. Lenny is... You have six, right? I have six, yeah. All right. Twelve red mana. Five. So I will recast Kent. Illuminate history. Ooh. Uh, prowess will trigger. Not that that's going to matter. Discard any number of cards and draw that many cards. If there are seven or more cards in your graveyard, make a spirit token. Which there are. Ooh, I will discard really uh, Apex of Power and Doom Scar. So I'll draw two. And I do not have one of those 3 2 spirit tokens, so I will just do this. We'll use that to cast a Gutter Snipe. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Pass the turn. Wow. Okay. That is all right. Untap. Let's put a counter here. And then we will make a soldier. Make it so that this is gone. Let's draw. Oh, wait, oh. hang on. I, uh, a creature died during Andy's turn, so I do get to draw. That's a card. right. Mm -hmm. Let's play a conscientious plans. So I will proliferate. We'll put a counter here. Another charge counter here. And then I will draw a card. I think I will move to combat. I will swing my soldier and guile at Lenny. And I'll remove a charge counter from guile to give it lifelink and indestructible. Right. Uh, I have no blocks, so I take five and go to 27. And I will gain four. I will pass turn. All right. Coveted Jewel is mine. We will untap, upkeep, and draw. Let's go ahead and bring out my commander. E Honda. Sumo Champion. It's a 0 7. So, as long as it's my turn, which it is, each creature I control assigns combat damage equal to its toughness rather than its power. Uh, and then we'll pay four. Electronic. Oh, I need to scry one for my. Alliance trigger. That is going to stay on top. We'll pay four. I would like to cast Springjack Shepherd. So it's a one two, and it's got Chroma, which is old school devotion. Uh, when it enters the battlefield, put a zero one goat into play for each white pip I have on nice. permanent sign control. So that'll be one, two, three, four, five. So we're going to make five goats. Uh, I'm going to draw a card and then scry one a lot. Um, yeah, Andy, we're going to swing this zero seven rumor gatherer at you. Sorry, it's a um, it's a two seven, not a zero seven. Essentially a seven seven. I'll take seven. Cool. We're going to rearrange my board here, and we are going to pass the turn. Right. Uh, nothing died, so I will untap. Upkeep, draw. Okay, we will play a land for turn, which will be this forest. And then, what am I going to do here, folks? Tap my temple with a false god. 
and I will play a Rakdo Signet. Really missed my Magus of the Abyss. <laughs> Don't you dare you get it back. Baby. I'm going to play Phyrexian Reclamation. <laughs> yes, bring it back. Honey. Also, I could go to the Abyss. That sounds like fun. What could possibly go wrong? <laughs> um, The question is if I get it back now or if I do other stuff. And I feel like I do other stuff. Now we'll play brash taunter Woo! oh yeah let's go <laughs> shout out to brando from cco podcast uh let's do the combat that all the kids are raving about um i'm gonna swing at nick yeah for seven yeah um you have to see. block i do have to block so if you do excess damage i have to sacrifice a non-creature non-land permanent yeah mm -hmm. Basically, I like think just I attack you though, right? Huh? And I get the jewel, right? Um, only if it's unblocked. Only if it's unblocked. Which your commander says is not. Do we get rid of the jewel possible. now? Is that what we're doing? We could get rid of the jewel. Wow, imagine being a hater oh, like that. I already drew I mean, the stupid thing. I was gonna come get. Yeah, <laughs> we're gonna. No. We're gonna chump with a goat. And I'll sacrifice right. the jewel. Oh. Okay. Lenny did it. He did do it. I mean, you made oh, all the decisions. Uh, <laughs> I will, uh, with that, I'll just pass the turn, and I will uh, draw a card for Death Reap Ritual. <sighs> Lenny, why are you so problematic with all of your uh, stuff? I just built there. this on the way. I just built this in the car on the way here, okay? Oh, I love it. Leaving while driving. There's no law against that. Yeah. <laughs> Land is an evolving wilds. I'm going to crack that, go get a mountain, and pass the turn. Okay. Untap. Okay. A counter, make three dudes. Nick, why would you get rid of that coveted jewel? It was so coveted. <laughs> I, can't, I can't block your legion. <laughs> it was so coveted. Yeah, I, w I was coveting the jewel. I wanted those cards. <laughs> I'm on a white. I need the help, okay? Fine, then. For your Hoover, so I'm going to move to combat. I'm going to swing Guile and four soldiers at Nick. All right. And you have your attack trigger. Yeah, I have my attack trigger. I'm going to just put counter on. Okay, Guile. so I can take... Or and maybe block Guile. I think I'm okay with blocking Guile. Oh, I can just block with E Honda. Yeah, you got a zero seven. Oh, okay. Um, then I'll block with uh, I'll block your commander with my commander, and then a soldier with a Spring Jack Shepherd, and I will take okay. looks like three. Okay. Spring Jack Shepherd is a something something. It is a one two. Okay. I'll go down to three. To two for is it signet? I'm going to play a wondrous strike. I'm going to exile Brash Tonner. Hey, hey and then I will proliferate. Uh, well, uh oh, that makes me sad. I can't okay. really do anything about that, so I'll just. Let Brash Taunter go. And proliferate. Go to four here, and then I get another charge counter. And I will pass turn. You better watch right. your back, though, Bert. CCO Nation might be coming for you now. Oh, yeah, they're definitely coming for me. They know about me. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I am a full fledged member of CCO Nation. I hope you all know. <laughs> <laughs> I will untap, upkeep, and draw. We are not going to play anything for, as my land for turn yet. We are going to go straight to combat. Okay, we're about to do a lot of damage. Oof. We're going to send E Honda at Bert, all four of the goats, and a Springjack Shepherd at Andy, and the Rumor Gatherer at Lenny. Uh, that will trigger 100 handed slap. 
Uh, so I'm going to give all of these creatures, uh, this one, this one, and the five goats, plus zero, plus seven till end of turn. I'm actually going to respond to that part. All right. Uh, we're going to go ahead and we're going to cast Ancient Animus. Uh, let's see here. Um, we're going to fight the Spring Jack Shepherd before it gets plus zero, plus one. Um, let's see. I do have a response to that. Uh, one, two, three. I'm going to flash in stone skin targeting the shepherd. Giving it plus zero, plus ten. Okay. <laughs> so that's going to kill Zangief. I'll send it to the graveyard. Uh, so then E-Hunting resolve. Now it's only going to be six. Well, how did uh, hold on? How does that kill Zangief though? Because uh, Zangief is not indestructible on the. T oh wait, hang on. Oh yeah, I only do combat damage with my toughness. Oh, combat damage. Right. Oh, sweet. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so I'll put a counter on Zangief, and so I guess we just sort of uh, nothing happens there. I mean, not that I don't want Zangief gone, but I also want to play <laughs> correctly here. Fair. <laughs> we we don't need those YouTube comments. <laughs> we actually kind of do. <laughs> uh, oh, oh yeah, it's you know what? Dangerous. Like, let's make the play mistakes all yeah. over the place. <laughs> so it's like, yeah, back in the graveyard you go. Yeah. Uh, action to you, Lenny. Uh, do you do you have anything? Are we going to blocks? We're 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 going to blocks where I have none. Yeah. Um, I guess the spirit's gonna block the shepherd. And the goats all have seven, so that's uh, 28 damage. I can't take all that, obviously. Gotta block all, all that I can. All right. So that's five, so I'll take uh, 14, and all my creatures die. All right. Bert and Lenny, you taking your licks? Yeah, yeah. took my... How much? Oh, um... So, Lenny, you would be getting uh, 7 plus 6, 13. E All right. Okay, second main. Play a Plains of my land for turn, and we will pass the turn. All right. That was a good turn. Oh, yeah. yeah, real good turn. Uh, oh, wait, wait. Before you pass the turn, creatures died. I draw a card. Mm -hmm. Now I'll untap draw three mana I'm going to cast Soul's Fire target creature you control deals damage equal to its power to any target I will target E Honda <laughs> dead <laughs> and I do excess damage because uh, Zangief's power is eight right now <laughs> alright um, I suppose we will sack this letter of acceptance and I will attack Nick with uh, Zangief Gotcha. No blocks. All right. Take eight, Commander. I will go to 20 total. I'm going to cast Disciple Bolus. <laughs> I'll sacrifice him, and I'll send him to the command zone, because uh, I'm not about to risk my enchantment getting blown up. I have a response to that. Wow. Oh, sorry. Yeah, you can. Um, oh, you know what? Do I have this effect on the stack? No, you're fine. Never mind. Okay. And I will sacrifice it, command zone it. So I will draw eight cards and gain eight life. Mm -hmm. I'm jealous. Same. All my work undone. I'm going to play a Basilisk Caller. Oh boy. And I'll attach the Basilisk Caller to the Disciple of Bolus. Sweet. Seven. All right, and then I'm gonna discard Dari Gaz's Caldera, Riveteer's Outlook, and Jun Panorama, and I will. Oh wait, sorry, I gotta draw one more. And a uh, swamp, and I'll pass the turn. All right, come on, let's top deck something good. Not a land. Oh jeez, that's pretty much <laughs> land. I guess I'm recasting Ken. That's probably a stupid move, because 
I think the Magus of the Abyss is just gonna come back out. Uh, not anytime soon. It doesn't really deal with the people that are a problem right now, so I think you're safe to cast Ken. Land for turn is a mountain. And pass. Alright. Let's untap. Upkeep. Put a muster counter. Go up to five muster counters and make five soldiers. Ooh. Go up to eight. Draw for turn. So. Who poses the biggest threat to me? Obviously it's me. I think it's Nick. Yeah, I'm getting big Nick is the threat vibes. I think Hold it's on. Nick. Let, let me help you with a question. Can you attack Andy? Sure you can. Dude, that, that was a joke <laughs> sure for Street can. Fighter fans. <laughs> <laughs> wow. I'm gonna I think I have to attack you off out. principle now. <laughs> right? Um, That's awesome. Yeah, Lenny strong too, though. Yeah. Lenny is strong. I mean, I'm strong too, but we're not but talking also, about me right I now. I also didn't make a bad joke, and I could tell you who my Street Fighter 2 mains are. Not that that should have any bearing, but like we all know it does. Mm. Yeah, Honda has to attack for you to get the... The boost, yeah. Um, it has to be in play uh, and on my turn for the the, uh, the toughness and power swap, and then the attack is the toughness boost. I can't get through your board right now, though, if you're on tap. So I might just have to kill you, Nick. Alright, yeah. do what you gotta do. Yeah, I am going to tap five and play Commander Staple teleportal overloaded <laughs> oh shoot <laughs> oh wow um, okay that's not what I was expecting yeah so that's why it's like I have to figure out who it is because it could be any one person but it's only one person um, do your tokens have haste yes my tokens yeah, have do. haste that's um, <laughs> oh you know what I might have a response to that yeah I mean we gotta play to our outs right yep uh, three mana. I'm gonna cast Call the Coppercoats, targeting you. Ooh. That's really good. So I'm gonna get a one-one human, uh, human soldier for each creature you control, which is nine. Nine. Um, that'll let me scry one, then draw, and then scry <laughs> seven more times. But I don't think it matters. Yeah. Then. Um. So we're gonna scry. <laughs> uh, we're gonna put that on the bottom. Draw. Well, I think we're dying. I mean, now you have to kill me, right? Yeah, yeah, I do. Yeah. Uh, and so everything gets plus one, plus zero, oh, and it is unblockable. Um, and so, yeah, I'm moved to combat. So this is 16 plus four, which is exactties. Yeah. Um, I'm going to remove a charge counter from Guile, and I am going to deal four to Lenny. I will take four. Yeah, good stuff. GG's. I'm sorry, Nick. You were popping off too hard. <laughs> Don't apologize <laughs> the to him. Portal. That's awesome. Uh, the I will mono white pass had, turn. Had us being like, oh, goodness, we're going to die. Yeah, I was sweating there. We're going to be that car in E Honda's picture and in the bonus <laughs> stage in Street Fighter 2. <laughs> Untap up, keep draw. Okay, I don't hate that card, actually. Uh, we're going to play an exotic orchard. I can get... It's basically a mountain, and that's okay. can hang out with the mountains, exotic orchard. Uh, we're going to tap that. I will float one for the Temple of the False God, and I'll cast Thrill of Possibility. Mm -hmm. That's a good one. And I'll discard a mountain and draw two cards. One two. Okay. Did not want those. That's okay. Still floating one. We're gonna recast Zangief. We'll pass the turn here then. Alright. Untap. Upkeep and draw. Not a land, not a land, not a land. 
to the land. Because the land. I feel like whoever I go after is just gonna have swift and deadly retribution on me. <laughs> I mean, I'm trying to get swift and deadly retribution on everybody. If that makes you feel better. Uh, Girl, no. same. No. <laughs> I mean, honestly, swift and deadly retribution is one of my love languages. <laughs> what is it acts of service swift and deadly retribution <laughs> I mean that's how you show you really care honestly um hey Bert what's up if I get rid of Zangief can I have uh not being attacked next turn by you uh yeah yeah, I mean, I can I can get rid of Zangief. I don't know. Zangief isn't. I can oh, I can Sonic can Boom. A charge counter. For mm -hmm. Well, it's <laughs> like hey, Lenny. Mm -hmm. <laughs> if that's the case, mm -hmm. I guess I will piss off Bert then. Yeah. Uh, we'll do a Divine Gambit targeting Assembled Allegiant. Whew. Oh, Ooh. okay. I, don't, um, I have not seen this cast in the Commander game. I'm excited. Yeah, I'm only playing bad cards tonight. Uh, Divine Gambit is going to exile it, and then you may put a permanent card from your hand onto the battlefield, Bert. Oh, wow. That's a pretty big Gambit, but it, it pays off here, because I'm just going to put in a Miss Nettle Witch. All right. Uh, Prowess Trigger. Ken gets plus one, plus one. All right. I'll go to combat. Um... I'll send Ken Burning Baller. Uh, you know what? Let's do the smart thing and activate Slayer Stronghold before I do that. Give it plus mm -hmm. two plus zero and Vigilance. Yep. Then I'll send Ken over at Bert. So it'll be a seven, three. How much? Uh, I'll go ahead and take seven from Ken. Oof. All right. Yeah, I'm at seven at, from all commanders. Interesting. But, yeah. Um, Smith Metal Witch might come in life handy. that we all seek. I'll pass the turn. Okay. Oh. Let's untap. Big draws. Shipwreck Dowser. And so when he enters the battlefield, return target instant or sorcerer from your graveyard to your hand. Let me get back this very tasty teleportal. Yes! Thankfully, you can't cast it this turn. I cannot overload it this turn. I'm going to just swing uh, four at Andy. And I'll remove a counter to give uh, Guile indestructible and lifelink. I guess I'm going to take that. Okay. I will gain four. And I will pass the turn. I'll untap. Upkeep. Draw. Another swamp. That's my land for turn. Mm-hmm. I'll tap my Temple of the False God, and I will move the Basilisk Caller onto Zangief. Yeah. Barf. And I'm going to cast a Mage Slayer. Uh, whenever yep. a quick creature attacks, it deals damage equal to its power to defending player. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to go... I feel Oops. like that... <laughs> That comic meme where the guy's wearing the sicko shirt and just watching, like, yes! <laughs> yes! <laughs> I'll pay three, and I'll move to equip the uh, Mage Slayer to Zangief. Yep. Yep. Zangief going ham. Turkey and yep. bologna. <laughs> mm. well, we're going to visit Bert. Oof. All right. Um, so I have a block. Yeah, well, first of all, you get seven. First of all, I get... Because it's... You, how many cards are in your hand? One, or it's two, power? Three, four, five, six. It's power. Okay, it's power. Okay, yeah, so I get seven. Okay, and then I it 
Mage Slayer makes the creature deal the damage, so I'm going to gain 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 life. Uh-huh. Then I have to block. Um, so I'll block with the... Uh, I actually block with the... Miss Metal Witch this time. Okay. Excess damage was dealt. Yep. So I have to sacrifice the something. Mm-hmm. Non-creature, non-land. I sacrifice this Azorius Sig. All right, and that's seven more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And just like that, Lenny, Lenny is out. <laughs> uh, little bit, little bit. Uh, it's not geez, looking good yeah. for us, Bert. It's not. Well, uh. <laughs> with that, I guess I'll just kind of pass the turn. That'll trigger Death Reap Ritual, so I will draw a card because a creature died. Okay. It's such a good budget card. <laughs> right? I was like, draw four cards Zangief a turn, is going to make fine. creatures die, right? Yeah. Honestly, I am loving this deck way more than I thought I would. I'm loving mine a lot less. <laughs> <laughs> He's throwing his cards. Done. I loved my deck. It did exactly one. what I wanted oh it to. God, your deck was terrifying. Like, yeah. Oh, my goal one day is to make exactly like 100 other creatures. I want the full effect. The past turn. Okay. Uh, I wish I had an assemble legion. Oh, there is exactly one life gain spell in this deck. It's Benevolent Offering, which is a really good one. That card's really good. Mm hmm. Uh, well, I think we just. Uh... Do our best to, to teleportal. And I'm going to try to murder Lenny. Alright, well, uh, we're going to start with a few things. Okay, so I'll cast That's... and teleportal. I'll blow it. That doesn't make me feel good. Alright, well, we got to do it this way. I'll respond real quick. Mm -hmm. Guile is a 4-4? Four, four? Guile is a 4-4. Four, four. Alright, I'm going to cast... Uh status statue and i will choose the status part target creature zangi gets plus one plus one and gains death touch until end of turn mm -hmm. and then i'll cast after that resolves uh, sorry you can respond yeah yeah i'm good okay then after that resolves i'll cast mm -hmm. prize fight target creature you don't con or you control fights target creature you don't control make a treasure token Mm -hmm. So my 8-5 Zangief will fight your uh, Guile. Okay. Uh, that's going to gain me 8 life and make me a treasure token. Excess damage was dealt, so... Yep. So is it Signet? All right. And so we're back down to Teleportal. Mm-hmm. It's going to resolve. Teleporter resolves. Got a prowess trigger here. That's five. Yeah, let's just move to combat. You're at and 40 swing. life again. <laughs> yeah, and swing. Uh, five. Just putting the end of his misery. <laughs> you <didn't check> me. <laughs> right. I'm going to swing 19 at Lenny because I have to send a message. All right. Oh. Uh... Yeah, okay. Uh, 19? 19? I will block your Oh, it's unblockable from uh, teleport. Oh, yeah, no, I'll just take 19. I'll just take 19 then. Uh, you can take it. It's fine. You can handle yeah, it. Yeah, I'm like, I'm... <laughs> <laughs> I think you'll be fine. You'll be just fine. Yeah, there. you'll be fine. Uh, I'm a past turn. You know what? In respect to your making me take 19, I will sacrifice this for black and this for also black, and I will mm -hmm. pay two life. And I will activate the uh, Phyrexian uh, Reclamation. And let's see if I can get something back that's cool. Let's get back Sarah the Viper's Fang, I guess. Oh, boy. Untap, upkeep, and draw. Yeah. It feels bad destroying people's hopes, but, like, in the end of the day, it's kind of the right thing to do. Mm-hmm. Uh, double lack, three. I'm gonna cast Crux of Fate and choose to destroy all non-dragon creatures. 
Oh, I get it, because your stuff is... Yeah? Ooh. Yeah. We're going to go to combat. I'm going to swing at Andy. Uh, yes. Mm -hmm. This may... This may happen. Heckin' murdered. That's a... Oh, oh. <laughs> I was like, that's a lot of... All right. So I'll gain 14 life. And then I guess second main, let's go Gruel Signet. Swifties. Attach the Swifties. Yep. So it's beautiful. Yeah, three. We'll just tap out. We'll cultivate or Kodama's reach. <laughs> nice okay. showing off. All right. Take this victory lap. All right. Yeah. I don't think there's. I mean, there are board wipes, but they don't. They don't. Well, you can hit Zangief during your turn. Yeah. Uh, I drew a land, and so I will. Uh, I will pass that ship that turn back. <laughs> All right. Uh, we'll untap. Because I'm pretty sure you got this. Yeah, I I, I feel like I got it. Um. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. You never know. <laughs> well, I mean, technically, I, I have a little bit more damage to deal. Draw. Uh, sheesh. Okay, yeah, we'll play the forest. Sarah. And then we will swing at Bert. And it uh, takes seven. It's going to be 14. Four. 14, so I go down to 3. Okay, and then that's going to be another 14 for me, putting me at a casual 57 life. Yeah. Uh, Yeah, and then I guess second main, I'll tap these two to play Arguel's Bloodfast and pass the turn. Okay, and let's see if this is... Oh. Okay. Let's just play it, because we can. It's, uh, it's more cards. Yeah. So I will play Tezzeret's Scam. I will pay the two life. We're going to yes. do this. <laughs> yeah. Why not at I, this point? I, why not? Yeah. Let's draw two respect. cards and proliferate. And then... Ooh. All right. And then, yeah. I'll play this... Uh, Contagion class to give Zangief a minus... Oh, no, I can't. Uh, oh, yeah. Hexproof. Hex double Hexproof, actually. I give uh, the Viper's Fang a minus one, minus one counter. Okay. And I will pass turn, and you got this, King. All right, yeah. Swing Z's. Swing Z's. Oh, my G goodness. G wow. Yo, it wasn't, a two <laughs> it wasn't a two hour <laughs> game. Oh, my goodness, Lenny. That deck has zero chill. Zero chill. Oh zero chill. Negative it's, zero chill. It's funny. Lenny wasn't playing the only stack stack piece in his deck. I also have one. Jeez. Oh my goodness. Uh, apologies. Um... <laughs> Wait for what? It, it, yeah, that was a, it was um... I thought it was I, a good game. I, I, yeah. No, I, I think, think it was, it was a good game. game too. I mean, I, 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 I kind of thought just... that's how it was going to go just because Zangief is just so Dang, gave his strong. Yeah, strong like bear. I didn't realize. He's so strong. I... Nick, what? Why are you like this? <laughs> I, I think I just got to start having people like choose like my commanders for me because like the other ones like oh I'll play Chun Li, and Stephen actually told me don't <laughs> build Chun Li for these guys. <laughs> they just mm -hmm. don't do it. Uh, and I was like yeah. He's like, cause like he's like Lenny, how are you gonna build Chun Li? And I'm like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh. Well, uh, hey, let's um, let's go around the table. Talk about uh, talk about the game. Talk about our decks. We can start with the the Victor. Yes. Um, okay. Well, hopefully we edit out all the swear words that I had. But uh, yeah. So I just kind of trade binder soup this deck with a things that I thought would be good uh, and occasionally I found some things that were way too much I like this deck and I think it's very cool but it's a little bit brutal to play against with having 
to get beat down by a uh, creature that basically makes you have to offer something to it. So when you play stuff like Magus of the Abyss, yeah, there's some feel bads. Um, Brash Taunter feels good to play. Uh, Shake Down Heavy was pretty cool. Uh, what else did I have that was less like? Let me see here. Um, because I know less about this deck. Uh, Mage Slayer was an absolute game changer. Uh, but mostly it had like a ton of fight effects. I don't know. Like, there's not really much to say about the deck that I thought was like cool. Uh, Eternal Thirst, uh, enchant creature has life link, and whenever a creature an opponent controls dies, put a one one counter on this creature. Gavel of the Righteous, uh, gets a counter every turn, uh, your turns, and he gets plus one plus one uh, for each counter, and gets double strike when you have four or more. Ooh, okay, actually, Hardy Outlander. Uh, was something I was hoping to draw. Uh, creature Commander creatures you own have whenever this creature attacks a player. Uh, if no opponent has more life, another target creature you control gets plus X plus X. And I was like, well, Zangief has seven power, and this has uh, gives something else seven power. Uh, that's pretty much the deck. Otherwise, it's just stuff that I thought was cool. And uh, check out the deck list, because there's a lot of weird random stuff in here. But other than that, that's the deck. Um, so, yeah, my deck, uh, it certainly went down in flames. Um, <laughs> and I think that's really because I just, you know, sorcery is just, <laughs> just not as good as instants. Um, but, you know, there's there's a lot of good stuff in the deck, but I didn't draw it. I was just top decking lands for too long and not getting enough card draw, unfortunately. So it might have played better in another game. But um, I think what I really lacked here was ways to protect uh, Ken, like you know, Bastion Protector, and ways to uh, make Ken bigger. And just didn't uh, didn't really draw those things, unfortunately. But it's still it's a it's still an interesting deck. Well, Kyle showed up and showed out. Uh, I've, I'm pretty happy with the showing that Gal gave. Uh, one card that was most of my budget was uh, Inexorable Tide. So whenever I cast a spell, I proliferate. Uh, I, re I really think with Gal having the options on, on what to do with the charge counters really was made the difference, like either Sonic Boom or Flash Kick, whichever one. Uh, other than that, it was just a bunch of stuff that had counters on it, like Assemble the Legion, and then combat tricks like uh, Teleportal, and I also had uh, Angel Fire Ignition in here, which is a sweet rare from uh, Midnight Hunt. So, o overall, I'm happy with how the deck showed out, and uh, I don't know, I might play it again, who knows? Sweet. Well, I'm definitely going to keep this deck around. Um, this performed way better than I thought. Like, I was laughing the entire time I was building it. So E-Honda has that weird, um, the weird Zada Hedron Grinder thing, where it makes some cards that are just, like, piss terrible really, really good. Um, so, like, we got, as you saw, the Spring Jack Shepard, which can make a bunch of zero ones. Uh, and since your commander is six mana, Visions of Glory is, like, a really good card for this deck. So just since you're making a bunch of tokens, you're doubling your tokens, which is awesome. Um, there's that small uh, toughness boost matter scene, like this weird dumb spell, Solidarity. Creatures you control get plus zero, plus five to lend a turn. Uh, you can do like Veteran Armor, which is just like a stupid zero, a plus one, plus one, essentially, with your commander. The stacks piece was Marble Titan. So creatures with power three or greater do not untap, <laughs> <Yikes>. <laughs> which is pretty fun. Uh, cool budget board wipes uh, when you're playing like a weird inverse power doesn't matter thing. All of the strong is pretty much like a, mm -hmm. a one-sided board wipe for you. Because all your goats are like zero whatevers. And then the card I was looking for until Bert ended my life was Worship. Oh. Which is surprisingly <laughs> budget. But yeah. Uh, I, I loved this deck and I cannot wait to play it again. Thanks for the game, guys. It was a lot of fun. And thank you, yeah. everybody, for watching. Well, then we'll leave you with Black Lives Matter and trans rights are human rights. Damn right. Thanks, everybody. That's it. See you. See you. Make sure to check out our Patreon at patreon.com slash scrap 
Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time on the Scrap Trawlers channel.